Hey everyone, Matt here from Native Instruments, and today we're gonna check out the synthesizer Massive X and the effect plugin Replica. Rethought, rewired, and reincarnated, Massive X is the successor to an iconic synthesizer that helps spawn entire genres. Get everything you need to create any sound imaginable. Quickly patch complex routings to bring your ideas to life, no matter how far out they might seem. Massive X includes over 600 presets from sequence soundscapes to leads, pads, and the big bass growlers you'd expect. Let's play through a few presets. With Massive X open as a plugin, I'm gonna click all types and open the preset browser. Okay, I already have a beat in Logic. Let's layer in some melodies using Massive X. Then we'll check out Replica and see how we can customize our sound. With an instance of Massive X loaded, I found a sound titled Neon under plucked strings that I really like. Let's customize the sound a bit. If you click here on the title near the wavetables, you can select different waveforms for each oscillator. Let's try a few. Now that we have one selected, let's record a melody. Perfect, we got that in there. I'm gonna quantize all the notes, turn the velocity all the way up to 127, double it and make the second half a higher octave. Now let's check out the audio modules. These generate and process your sound. You can freely connect them in the editor's routing page to achieve a wide range of different synthesis techniques. Notice how it's not affecting the sound by moving the slider. Let's jump over to the routing page. Here, you can route different modules together. Let's double click on the line to remove the current routing. Then you can click here on this square and drag it to a different part of the chain. Now it's really affecting the sound. Let's reroute this to the phaser. This sounds cool. I'm going to turn it down just a bit and let's play the track back. I have another sound loaded for Massive X called Brasstastic. Let's record another melody in the second half. Same thing here, I'm going to quantize all the notes and then we're going to add an additional octave right above it with a lighter velocity. This way, it'll play two octaves, but one won't be as present in the mix. Now that it's in there, let's adjust the envelope. Modulator 1 is an envelope that is hardwired to control the level of the output amplifier. This makes it possible to shape the volume contour of the sound without having to manually assign the envelope first. You can hear how it affects the sound as I move the knob. I'm going to keep the release turned down so the sound stops as soon as I let go of the note. Let's play this back in the mix. This track's really starting to come together. Let's check out Replica. Replica packs two professional quality delays and a powerful diffusion algorithm into a sleek, streamlined interface. First thing I want to do with Replica is add it to our pluck. 
Let's flip through a few presets on my lead melody to see how it affects the sound. You can hear how they go from subtle to drastic. Let's find a preset that has a phaser. I'm going to adjust the rate at which the phaser goes back and forth by selecting the hertz icon and changing it to a note. If I turn up the mix knob, you can hear how it intensifies the effect. Let's see how it sounds in the track. Last thing I want to do is use Replica as a reverb and reverse the first note of my brass lead into itself for a transition. I'll start by muting all the other MIDI except for the first note. With an instance of Replica open, I'll select the preset Weird Room. Let's turn up the mix. And I'm also going to turn up the size of the reverb. Now I'm going to right click on the MIDI file and click bounce in place. We'll give it a name and it's going to print this as audio with the effect. We'll unmute and join the brass melody so it plays as it did. Now what we're going to do is stretch out this audio file, click on the track, and on the left hand side we'll click reverse. I'm going to reposition this so it comes in right before the first note. We'll cut off the tail and then we'll put a nice fade. Let's see how that sounds. This is a great way to introduce an element of your song that nobody's heard before. I've already done some arranging to my track, now let's play the entire thing back. That's Massive X and Replica. Check it out today at nativeinstruments.com or get it as part of the Complete Now bundle. Be sure to check out the rest of the plugin walkthrough videos to see what comes with Complete Now and how you can make most of all the included sounds.